Jewelers and silversmiths combine artistry with patient, careful, exacting labor. Whether creating beautiful settings for tiny stones or candlesticks and goblets, attention to detail is the hallmark of the art and science of this profession. One jeweler in three is self-employed. For those who make their own goods, skills include design, casting the metal, cutting and setting the stone, and polishing. People employed in jewelry manufacturing plants might learn just one of these steps. Or a store owner might purchase settings and leave the casting to someone else. While this is an ancient craft, modern methods are changing the requirements. Computer Assisted Design, or CAD, now enhances productivity and quality. Some work sites are more comfortable than others, but even with a modernized workspace, a jeweler or silversmith spends long hours sitting and working with tiny objects. Excellent eyesight and agile hands are needed for this job. Those who work in stores also should be able to understand customers' needs and emotions when purchasing jewelry. Because the materials are often very valuable, people in this profession have to be comfortable with security measures, such as barred windows or even armed guards. While traditional apprenticeships are sometimes available on the job, many vocational, technical and art and design schools offer programs to teach the various aspects of jewelry making and repairing. The Gemological Institute of America offers correspondence courses. Even for manufacturing jobs that provide training, an educated worker is more likely to advance. Thank you very much. Have a great day.